Welcome guys, my name is Tom Antos and in this video I want to show you a great budget monitor for video and photo professionals. So uh, a lot of people ask me for monitor recommendations uh, when it comes to working with photos or videos. Uh, and this is the latest monitor that I got, uh, I got it about two months ago and I've been loving uh, using it so far and it's a monitor that is uh, it costs a lot less than many other professional monitors, which are, will cost you basically several thousands of dollars. Uh, this one right now actually retails for uh, just under $600. Now the main reason why I got this monitor is because it's color accurate. Also it's a 10-bit display, so it displays over 1 billion colors and it shows you uh, basically all the nice smooth gradients uh, so you can properly view your images. Uh, and this is something that I would say that's crucial, whether you're a photographer doing photo retouching or a videographer, for example, doing color grading or even somebody working with uh, visual effects. This monitor is 99% uh, Adobe RGB uh, color accurate and over 100% uh, sRGB and Rec. 709. And for those of you who don't know what that means, it just simply means that it's going to display the colors properly. And not only that, but the monitor itself uh, has hardware uh, color calibration built into uh, the monitor itself as a, a chip basically that will regulate the colors in your monitor. Uh, so if you're, for example, going to have a color calibration tool like this one I have from X-Rite, the Color Monkey, uh, plugged into your monitor. Uh, you can use the software that comes with the monitor and that will actually in real time kind of adjust the colors properly based on your ambient light and things like that so that you're seeing the proper colors on your, on your monitor and you don't rely on your graphics card having to shift the colors uh, and, and display the proper colors. Now when it comes to resolution, this monitor is a QHD, not 4K. Uh, and I know a lot of times people ask me, uh, do I need to get a 4K display? And I think it, it really depends on, on uh, your, your style of working and basically how close you're gonna be to the monitor. Not so much whether you're working with 4K video or not, because I edit uh, most of my videos in 4K and this monitor is plenty of resolution for me. Uh, this is typically how I would sit at the monitor. So from this distance, at the size of this display, uh, which is 27 inches, the resolution is, uh, is beautiful. It creates nice sharp images. Now, if you wanted to sit closer, um, then yeah, you probably, you, you would see then an advantage if you had a 4K uh, display or if you just got a, a bigger display. Um, there is actually another version of this uh, that BenQ makes, which is uh, 32 inches. Uh, and that one is going to be 4K, but it's going to cost you a lot more money. It's right now around $1,700, $1,800, depending on, on where you get it. For $600, I think this is an amazing deal. Uh, and that's because it delivers what's most important to uh, photo and video professionals, which is color accuracy. I can do all of my color grading work up here, and I, I know 100% that what I'm seeing up here is what other people are going to see. Uh, the same thing if I was doing, let's say, photo prints, um, then I know that my photo prints are going to look the same as my display. Another thing I like about this monitor is that it comes with this hood. And this is uh, really important because it stops any kind of ambient light from polluting the colors on your, on your display. Uh, also, the hood itself has an opening here on the top. So again, with your color calibration tool, uh, it's easy to kind of feed it through there and do your uh, weekly or monthly <laughs> color calibration. Uh, also, the monitor actually on, on the left side here has a USB 3 uh, hub. Uh, so it allows you to connect two USB devices to it and it's also going to provide power to those devices. So let's see if you're going to connect the hard drives to it. Very, very convenient for me. A lot of times I'll have uh, my footage stored on, you know, SSDs or basically just hard drives and I can just plug in them in there directly instead of having to uh, go over to my computer. Uh, also, there's an SD card slot over there, which is again USB 3, so it transfers the files really fast. So if you're copying footage or, or photos, again, it's just really convenient. Uh, the monitor has a five millisecond refresh rate and goes up to 70 Hertz, uh, which is plenty enough when you're doing video work. Now, if you're a gamer, uh, there's other better options out there. I really love the little remote that the monitor has at the bottom of the base, and you can take it with you. It has an extension cable, so you can put it wherever you want on the desk, and it allows you to quickly change all the monitor settings, and it even has uh, different profiles saved into it, or you can customize the profiles in there. So for example, you could have one for monochrome, one, let's say, for your color grading, and another one, let's say, for your gaming uh, color profiles. So whether you're a professional uh, doing uh, visual effects, color grading, video editing, or photography, uh, this is a monitor that I can highly recommend. 
Uh, I've been loving it since I got it. Uh, it's, like I said, delivers on all the things that are important to us image professionals. Uh, and I think it's the best value right now on the market. For more info, uh, as always, check out my website. Anyways, thank you guys and I'll see you next time.